I do have to say, I didn't, I didn't know you actually combed your hair. I thought you just let it go all natural. No, I had washed and conditioned it before I come to the show, lad. <laughs> you knew it was time to shine, yeah? Yeah, always, lad. It's got to be, it's got to be. Is, is that probably the, the perfect way to debut, you think? Yeah, 100%. Either that or run out in five seconds, get a flying knee like Masvidal. But um, yeah, that, that was perfect. Um, showed everyone that I can come through adversity as well, because he did catch you with a nice left hook. I need to stop letting people punch me in the face, lad. Uh, I'm a bit too... Uh, I, I want to put on too much of a show, lad, so I just put my hands down and get into firefights with people. I do it in the gym, my coaches, Paul, Ellis, Adam, and Chris, my boxing coach, all moan at me for it, you know what I mean? What are you doing? Fucking get your hands up. You know I mean? And I, I, I can't help myself, lad. I, I like fighting, you know what I mean? So I do I just let some people hit me sometimes, which is pretty stupid because it, it can go wrong, but... It didn't go wrong there, you know what I mean? It, it, it didn't go wrong and it was never going to go wrong. This is my destiny. I, I'm here and I, I'm the new kid on the block, lad. And I told you the other day, I'm going to get a first round finish. People think I'm a grappler and I've just shut everyone up. I can strike, I can grapple, I can wrestle. And I've got the personality, I've got the look. The new, the new king is here, lad. I know you said to Biscuit Scousers don't get knocked out, but how rocked were you when he got you? When he got I weren't you? rocked at all. I had to say to vent it. After it, he went, he got caught with a shot, you know. I was like, did I? I like, you know what I mean? Uh, I can remember him swinging the left hook at me, like, where um, he's got a, got a nice left hook, but take me hat off to Luigi, man. He can take a punch and a kick, because I kicked him in the head about five times, lad. You know what I mean? But lesser men go down off that. Uh, hats off to him. He can take a shot, but... I'm the first ever man to finish him at lightweight, lad. That, <laughs> that, uh, that kid he fought last was meant to be a top-level striker, and I've just I'm meant to be a grappler, lad, and I've just come in and knocked him out in a round. So I'm I'm here to make statements, lad, and that's what I've just done. You mentioned the kicks. So I was very impressed with the teep kicks, and you, like you said, you kicked him in the head a couple of times, and he took the shots well. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Like I, I'm, I'm very surprised that he took them. I was saying before the fight, I'm either going to knock him out with a head kick or a right hand, and. I landed a good few head kicks and he took them and I had to land the right hand to put him down. <laughs> uh, how, how cool was it to see Molly right before? Oh, brilliant. Like, me, uh, Paul and I, Ellis went out with her and Adam stayed in the back with me and I don't really like to do a big massive warm-up anyway because I'm going into a firefight. So, in between Molly's rounds, we were just hitting bits of pads and doing little wizard throws and little triangles and stuff, but... I watched that whole fight, you know what I mean? I didn't... Of course, kid, you know, that big sis. Uh, watched every bit of a fight. I couldn't take my eyes off the telly. I know for a fact that uh, all the cameras what were watching me in the back of will have footage of me sitting there watching a fight. So I just... What a night, you know what I mean? Next gen, 2-0, and intensity, 3-0. and was, was never going to go any other way. Me, Molly and Jack Shaw have just put on an absolute show. It's taken you a while to get here, right? You've got your journey. Now you're in the UFC. It's been spoken about for so long. So what's next? Do you just try and rattle off fights as often as you can? Or do you want to wait until you get a crowd in England and then fight bigger names right off the bat? How do you see the next stage of your career going? I don't care, lad. I like, as I said, Luigi Vendramini was the fourth name what got put forward to me for this fight. Every other name what got put forward to me, I said, yeah. I, I'll never say no to a fight. I'm, I'm not a bitch ass. You know what I mean? Whatever name gets put to me on the contract, lad, I'm going to sign it and I'm going to fight them. I don't care if they're ranked or they're not ranked or where they're from or where it is. You know what I mean? If it's in their backyard. If it's in their backyard, everyone will start going sick when I walk out anyway. You know, that's just what I do. Um, but as Dana said, on his, uh, where he tells you what fights to watch on the card, he said, honourable mention to Paddy the Baddy. He knows, lad, where it'll be fun going back to England with this kid. So... November, December. Let's get a let's get a show on in England, lad, and let's uh, let's blow the roof off the gaff. Congrats, man. Thank you very much, brother. Paddy the Baddy. Yes, Congrats the fella. What's happening? Hey, great victory. Now Bryce Mitchell was able to get the camo shorts from Venom. So how soon are we going to see Venom putting the orange shorts on Paddy the Baddy? You never know, lad. You never know. Uh, if they can get me a pair of orange shorts, I will get them sorted. But the red ones were the charm tonight, didn't they? <laughs> so uh, I can't complain much. 
I don't think a lot's been talked about enough, though, but you came to Vegas midweek. What about your sleep schedule? How were you able to put on such a great performance on such short notice to adjusting to the time change? Yeah, I only I was traveling for 29 hours on Tuesday. Um, got like two hours sleep on a flight. I've only been having about four, five hours sleep a night. Uh, but this is what I was put on this earth to do, lad. Entertain people and beat people up. And it's what I do. I only had five hours sleep last night. Doesn't doesn't mean nothing to me. I was always coming in here and getting a first round finish. I, I said it from the get go, and I, I I delivered. Know what I mean? I delivered, lad. Send Luigi packing back to be a delivery boy in Brazil. Phenomenal hair. <laughs> oh, it's, it's it's you know it, lad. You know it. As I say, I washed and conditioned it before I uh, before I come out, lad. That's why it looks fresh. <laughs> that is nice one the fame. <laughs>